Hello and welcome to our first day of 30 GIMP tutorials where you're going to learn something new every day for, yes, that's right, the next 30 days. Today, you will learn how to turn on a glowing light. If you're ready, let's do it. So your first step is to download this image, which you can find a link to in the description below. Go ahead and open up that image. And the second step is to duplicate our image layer by clicking right here on this icon. Then we're gonna place that inside of a grouped layer. So go ahead and click right here. To add it to the grouped layer, click on your image layer and drag it up to the top right here. Once it's outlined, go ahead and release. And then that layer will be placed inside of the layer group. And you know it's in that group because the thumbnail preview here is indented versus the other ones. So our third step is to make a selection of where the light is going to go or where it's going to come from and then fill it in with a color. So let's go ahead and grab our zoom tool with the letter Z and go ahead and zoom in to the lamp here so you can see it a little bit better. So to make a selection, we have several different types of selection tools to choose from. And for this project, I want to use the pass tool. So you can either locate that on your toolbar or press the letter B. So we're going to make a path or an outline of the opening of each of the three shapes here. So I'm going to click right here to add my first node. I'm going to click here again to follow along that line and go ahead and continue around the entire opening. Now we need to close out this path and to do that we're going to hold down our control key and then click on that first node and that closes the path. Now from here you can fill it in but before we do that let's go ahead and create our other two paths so we can fill them all in at the same time. So I'm going to click here and continue around the opening again. Control key click on the first one. Now, if you have your line here, it's not very straight. You can actually move these nodes by clicking and repositioning them. Okay, let's do our last one here. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna select my color. So let's go to our foreground color swatch here, click on it and choose any color that you want. I'm gonna use this light cream color here and this is the hexadecimal number right here. Go ahead and click OK. Now we just need to fill it in. But before we do that, we should put that on a new layer. So come over here and click on this icon and let's call the layer glow one and make sure you have fill with set to transparency. Now in the tool options down here, click on fill path. Make sure you have solid color selected and click on fill. All right, we have our light, but it doesn't look very natural, does it? So let's go up to our modes here and choose a new blending mode to blend it in a little bit. So the mode that I want to use is Vivid Light. You can try out any other blending modes to see if you can find one that you like or one you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and use Vivid Light. And I think that looks a lot more natural now. You may want to lower the opacity as well so it blends in with the background a little bit. That's entirely up to you. Now the other thing we can do to make this look a lot more natural is to blur it. So let's go up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then for the size X and Y, I'm going to set this to around 10. So I think that gives it a much more natural feel. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm happy with that. The last thing I want to do is I want to add a glow on the outside of the lamp as well. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool here. Hold down your control key and click once to zoom out. I'm gonna go ahead and center this just a little bit. So let's add our glow here with our pass tool again. And I'm gonna follow along the top of our lamp here. But now that I'm going outside, what I wanna do is I wanna try and mimic the shape of our lamp here. So I'm gonna click here for that first one on the outside. Then I'm gonna come down to right about there and then in and then over to the right back up all right so these two nodes are a little crooked so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one down I want to make sure that these two nodes are 
pretty much in the same position. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want some symmetry in my glow. So maybe add a guide down as well to help you out. I have my guides turned off, it looks like. So it looks pretty close. Same thing with this one up here. I'm gonna go ahead and click right about here. Let's pull a guide down. I think these are out too far, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring these in. Now I'm gonna come back up here and click on this side of the lamp. Because I moved that one, my node doesn't continue from here, so I'm gonna undo that with Command or Control plus the letter Z. So to fix that, we're just going to click on the node that we wanna continue from. And then once we click here, that path will be connected between those two points. Okay, make sure you hold down your control key again and click on that first node. I'm gonna go up to view and click on show guides to hide my guides. Looks like it's a little bit wider on this side than this side, so I may wanna bring this in a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with the same color. But first, we need to create a new layer again. I'm gonna call it Glow 2. Now you can go ahead and fill it in. Let's go back up to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. This time I'm going to crank up the amount to around 100. So I wanna blur that out a lot. So if you want, just double click here and type in 100 and then your tab key to update the other access point. All right, go ahead and click OK. Now the only problem is because of the amount of blur that we've applied, we can now see the inside of the lamp and I want to cover that up. So I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to click and drag this up until it covers up the inside of the lamp. So something like that. Now, of course, that's way too intense. That's too much glow. So what I want to do now is I want to lower the opacity down to around six or seven. So here's the before and the after. How cool is that? All right, make sure you check out that playlist to your left to learn more new cool tricks for editing your images in GIMP. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified of new tutorials. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.